Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about Gendix in Java. Let's see some code examples. Friends, if you have not subscribed to interview.channel, please subscribe. Thank you. Here is the main method. We have few lines of code. You can see here, while creating a list, I am giving some data type. String, integer, long, boolean, character. So the question is like, why do we need to specify these data types? If I don't specify, what will happen? For example, here, I didn't specify any data type. So what is the difference between this and this? The difference is, here we are using Gendrix. We are saying, for this particular list it can add only the string and here we are saying it can add any type of objects this is really dangerous because when i add any type of object when i try to read we have to cast it type cast it which is really dangerous we will we might get typecast exception and we don't know what exactly what type of object exists in this particular list using gendrix is the nice way during programming so i'm trying to add to this list string and integer you can see it does not show any compilation error whereas here i'm trying to add an integer to the string list it shows an error it says required type is string and you're trying to add integer this is the main benefit we are trying to achieve the type safety let's see a small piece of code to know the benefit of gendrix for example i have int array double array and character array now i want to print them the print array method takes the type and here you can see we are able to iterate through this array and then print them in a generic way so i didn't write print array method separately for integer double and character it's the same single method but it can handle integer array double array and character array. so this is the main benefit of gendrix we can reuse the code and we can avoid typecasting exception and one more point to remember is these data types will be deleted during the compilation process and this process is called as type erasure so type erasure is a process in which compiler replaces a generic parameter with actual class so if you take the byte code you won't see those data types hope this small information about java gendrix is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to interview.channel thank Thank you.